Hi, Claudia Schneider, and my wife and I first came on one of these for our sort of delayed honeymoon, and we've been on five of them, and it's been awesome. But even though we didn't get married until it was nationally legal, every year we have thought, do we have to bring a power of attorney so if one of us ends up in a hospital in Florida, we are sure that we're going to be able to do what married couples are supposed to be able to do for each other. And we have unfortunately made the decision that we are going to cancel our reservation for next year. Um, and I've been you know, sharing like, anecdotes with friends who are not on the boat. And one of them is like, you sold me. I'm talking to you know, all, my whole family. And I was like, your family includes two black trans women. I could not in good conscience encourage you to vote for next year. Um, I know you know what the situation is for people in Florida, but I just want to say, it's huge, and it would be a great sadness if we didn't go on next year's cruise, but we almost certainly will so. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, we, we hear you, we definitely hear you. Yeah, and there, okay. no, again, um, if, if you guys have any, any ideas, right? <laughs> Because it's, it's, yeah, it's just, that is not an easy decision to make, and I'm sorry. You know, we see, we hear not just the feedback, but the emotion, and, and it's very rough. 